¿Quién, tra ¿Quién traduce, amiga? Damián. Estaba hoy Damián, se ve que se cayó o se bajó. Estaba hace un rato. No lo vi. Está, está, está. Ok. Ahí entra. Hola, Eva. Hola, Eva. Hola, Eva. Mientras que no están grabando, te explico, ya, ya que es un minutito, a lo mejor a alguien le sirve. Vos entras al reel de Daba One. Sí. ¿Sí? ¿Ves que acá tiene una flechita? Sí. Tocas esa flechita. Sí. Y te va a tirar todas las personas y abajo, si no abajo, dice agregar a mi historia. Ahí. Ese. Agregar, agregar a mi historia. Y pongo ahí. Pones ahí y eso te va a tu historia. Gracias. Jessy, un alcance de eso. ¿Me escucha ahí? Sí. Sí. Lo comparte en la historia queda el video eh, solo. Entonces sería bueno agregarle un, un, o un hashtag o, un, o un, copiar el link para que la persona pueda ir a admirar el interno de vuelta. No, es el reel, es el reel, pero si vos tocas, te va el reel. Ya hice chitana. Ya hice chitana, ayuda. Yes. All right. Yes, 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 All right, so as we begin our next session, uh, let us begin with the three mantra of Dada, and yesterday was his uh, birthday, so <laughs> November 7th was Dada's birthday. Uh -huh. Can you hear me? Yes, I heard uh, Damián, te escuchamos. Ajá, ya. ¿Me escuchan? Yes. Ahora sí. So, so you were saying, Shura, whose oh. birthday? Dada Shri's birthday was yesterday, November 7th, you know, according to the. Ayer Indian. fue el cumpleaños de, de uh -huh. Dada, el 7 de noviembre. November oh. 7th. Yeah. yeah, it was sí. yes, yesterday, his birthday. So. If you want to sing happy birthday to Dada in your language, that's fine, you know. <laughs> si, si quieren cantarle a Dada, está bien. So, every, so do it. Everybody just do it. Hmm? Dada. Now? Yeah. Oh, Ahora, Dada. Te quiera que esté. Querido Dada, feliz. Yes, yes. Oh. <laughs> Beautiful, our Dada. Hmm? And Nuestro Dada, hermoso. Let, all right, so now let us have one person sing the three mantra. Huh? Mm -hmm. Alguien que cante el three mantra. Gaby puede cantar. Gaby. 
Dale. Namo Vitragai, Namo Harihantana, Namo Sidana, Namo Ayariyana, Namo Atsayana, Namo Loyesavasahuna, Eso pancha namukaro, sava pavapanashano, mangala namcha savesim, paramam havai mangala, om namo pagavate vasudevai, Om Namah Shivai Jai Satchitanam Namo Vitragai Namo Harihantanam Namo Siddhanam Namo Ayariyanam Namo Atsayanam Namo do yesavasauna Eso pancha namukaro Savapavapanachano Mangala namcha savesim Paramam havai mangala Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevai Om Namah Shivai Jai Satchitanan Namo Vitragai Namo Harihantanam Namo Siddhanam Namo Ayariyana Namo Atsayana Namo Loyesavasahuna Eso Pancha Namukaro Savapavapanashano Mangala namcha savesim Paramam havai mangala Om namo bhagavate vasudevai Om namah shivai Jai satchitanam Jai satchitanam Jai Satchitanan. Jai Satchitanan. Jai Satchitanan. Jai Satchitanan. Jai Satchitanan. Wonderful. Hmm? Jai Satchitanan. On, <clears throat> on to create a small scene for you, like something that you can so let me create that picture for you. <clears throat> Déjenme crear esta, esta figura para ustedes. Yes. Uh, it, uh, on on uh, July 9th, July 9th, 1970, Dada our dada was entering a lift, an elevator, you see. Hmm? You know, a lift is, uh, is an elevator. In, in India, they call it lift. You'll, you know, in here in America, we call it an elevator. You know, you in, enter. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. El 9 de julio de 1970, dada estaba entrando en un ascensor. Now in those days, yeah, in those days, the you know, 
the and you are probably familiar with this uh, yeah, these elevators were not as sophisticated and easy just you enter and push the button you know uh, there is an outer door you close and then there is an inner door you close you yeah, see we have those in <laughs> buenos aires <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> in <laughs> aquellos días los ascensores eran de tijera había una puerta dentro y una puerta fuera tenemos lo que tenemos ahora acá and you know in and if they're big buildings you know they have a, a door a lift man you know in other words a man is always there to take you up and down take you up and down yes yes you know so dada enters the lift and there were obviously some mahatmas with him and uh, so dada says anyone who takes me upstairs in a lift uh twice okay takes me upstairs in a lift twice uh the, then i i have what then i am i have to go to his home to give darshan to him you see entonces nada dijo de aquel que me lleve en el ascensor hasta arriba dos veces, yo voy a ir a su casa y voy a hacer darshan con él. Uh, uh, you know, and so this is a very important sentence. He says, he takes, anyone who takes me up the lift um, twice, I have to go to his home to give him darshan. Uh, so then Dada asks the lift man, they, that man is called the lift man. He says, where, right now, where are you working? Where, uh, where, which, where do you work? In other words, what kind of a job do you have? You see? Entonces le dice <coughs> al ascensorista, ¿dónde trabajas eh, ahora? ¿Qué clase de trabajo tienes? Uh, then the lift man says he's unemployed. He doesn't have a job, you know? Y él le dijo que no tenía un trabajo, que estaba desempleado en ese momento. So Dada says, in Hindi to him, <clears throat> after doing darshan, darshan karke nokri maang lena. Dada Shri says, after doing the darshan, ask for a job. Ask for a job. You see? And you will get it. <laughs> you will get it. Y Dada le dijo, este, luego de hacer el darshan, pide por un trabajo, pide un trabajo y lo tendrás. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. darshan. So obviously Dada must be having satsang upstairs, you know, in some apartment. And, and he just, out so naturally, tells this poor man, you know, you know, Uh, do the darshan and after doing the darshan ask for a job and you will get it. So he is in essence inviting him to come up to that place where Dada is going to do the, you know, vidis and darshan and satsang, you see. Oh, what Entonces, mm -hmm. eh, en, en esencia, Dada lo estaba invitando al sensorista arriba a hacer darshan con él. You see, Dada Shri has, elsewhere has Dada said, if somebody has given me, somebody has served me one cup of tea, a single cup of tea, I will never forget his obligation in my entire life. I will not forget that. Y también dijo, aquel que me sirva una taza de té, una simple taza de té, nunca lo voy a olvidar en la vida entera. I have to. I have to take care of him. Take care of. Lo tengo que cuidar. Lo yeah. voy a cuidar. He said, this is how he was with everyone that he met in his life. Even if those human beings were <clears throat> not interested in spirituality or not paying attention, Dada would bless them with his eyes. You see, with his eyes. You know, just Así era como era dada en su, en su vida con la gente que interactuaba. Aunque esas personas no estuvieran interesadas, 
en el conocimiento, él siempre las bendecía. Yeah. Whether they are at the airport or the bus station or the railway station or on the streets, you know, they just have to look at him just a little bit, you know, a split second, even just see him, that's all. You see, that is why when Dada used to have this um, processions, you know, open air procession see dada would sit in a chariot driven by horses you see he would be sitting high up in the airport or in the station of train in any place that they were only eh, eh, dada los miraba todos y había que era ese contacto de un segundo con mm. él y, y ya quedaban eh, yeah. ligados yeah uh... Por eso que hacían, perdón, sorry, uh, por eso que hacían esas procesiones a cielo abierto donde Dada estaba en una carroza pasando. And then the Mahatmas are, you know, in front of the procession, behind the procession, some are doing dancing, garbas, everything, right on the busy streets of Mumbai, Bombay, you see. Hmm? Y en, la, en las calles eh, de Bombay, era como uno de los Mahatmas en la procesión hacían garba y hacían bailaban alrededor de, de Dada. And you know, Kaviraj and others following behind with loudspeakers singing Dada Bhagwan Nasim Jeji Karho, you see. Y así Kaviraj estaba al lado cantando con, con megáfonos Dada Bhagwan Nasim Jeji Karho. Yes. At that time, he was He would say, take your time, just, you know, he says all of this procession, you know, people say, hey, what's going on, you know, uh, and uh, and then they realize this is not a wedding, because, in, you know, when this bridegroom is, is going to the place for the place of the uh, young lady to her home, you see, this is how also they have noisy, you know, they have bands and all of this, you know, and he probably, is, he, the guy is sitting on a horse or whatever, but he said, what? Y la, he, gente, he, y la gente decía, he, es esto, este, esto no es un casamiento, porque allá en la India se, se acostumbra a hacer procesiones en los casamientos, con, yeah. haciendo barullo. Yeah, so, but this, then, then, then they will say, oh, this is an old gentleman sitting up there, all And that's enough. The other just takes one look and it's enough. You see? I mean, the person would not... People on the streets, you know, the shopkeepers, they will all look, you see? And uh, some would really just kind of stand in a corner and say, hey, what's going on? Oh, you know. Y la gente decía... Mm -hmm. La gente decía... Yeah. And then they said, this is... that's. That's the beauty of his presence on this earth of ours, you see. And he, you know, he is present in this earth of ours. And then when his body circumstances were such that he could not, that they had to leave, you see. And then he says, I am now... Tells his matmas, I'm now sitting inside you. I'm taking a seat inside you. All you have to do is to bend down, touch your toe, touch your big toe, and just say five times, I am the science that is the self. <laughs> I am yo, the yo decía, yo estoy, yo estoy sentado dentro de ustedes. Todo lo que tienen que hacer es con tu entrecejo tocar mi, mi pie, la punta de mi pie, y decir, Junyan Sorupchu, soy conocimiento absoluto. Yeah, I am the sign and science that is the self. Uh, uh, that is the self, or I am self-science, you see. Mm? Y decir, yo soy la ciencia que es el ser. Science of the self, you see, that's it. You know, in other words... The elemental form of Dada, the elemental state of Dada, not the not the 
temporary state, they're not the physical state, but the elemental uh, state, pure ama, <coughs> the pure self, Shuddhatma Swarup, Paramatma Swarup, that is now the depth elemental state of dada is merging with our elemental state you know the our pure i purest i uh, uh, that was awakened by him in the gnan vidhi you see hmm? y la forma elemental de dada no la forma temporal el ser el alma pura yudatma eh, es se toca con la nuestra alma pura y esa es la forma que la despierta nuestra alma pura. Right. Nuestro ser. Yeah, yeah. And he says, it's so easy whenever you want to. You won't have to remember me. I'll be there inside you. I will be always be there inside you. Y dice, eh, Dada decía, no tienes que recordarme a mí, siempre voy a estar dentro tuyo. So it is that Dada celebration that has begun in this month of November, you know, and later on, according to the Indian calendar, in this month, we will be having this big journey. We, have, we were all, many of us were together in JJ111. Now this is JJ116 or whatever it is, you know. <laughs> y así es como comienza la, la celebración del cumpleaños de Dada en este mes de noviembre, que culmina con el JJ116. Eh, nosotros empezamos con el JJ111. Ya mm -hmm. vamos por el 116. Yeah. And not only that, today make, a, make something special, you know. And then near the photo of the other, place the little plate and say, Dada, you first have it. And bless me and all around. And then you take a piece of that. And then you eat it. See? <laughs> y, y hoy, hoy hagan algo especial y pónganle un platito a Dada y díganle, este, vos come primero, Dada, y celebren junto con él. Yeah, you can. Y, you, así obtiene yeah, su, yeah. su bendición. Yeah. You can do the arti of Dada, you see, arti of Dada. Hmm? So, my friends, I know I was, this sentence is so magnificent, you know. You know it, Esta oración es tan magnífica. About this lift man, you see, the, the elevator man, you know, just like that. Sobre este ascensorista y esta escena del ascensor. Yeah, you see. Yeah. Darshan karke nokri maglena. He says, after doing the darshan, after doing the darshan, ask for a job and you will get it. <laughs> he dice, luego de hacer el darshan, pide un trabajo y lo tendrás. Yeah, you know, those poor people, they don't, they can't afford all of these spiritual talks, satsangs, and, you know, in luxury, they have to work hard for their living. But, la gente no podía costear estar en estos lujosos satsangs eh, porque tenían que trabajar para vivir. Yeah, all right. So that's, that is, um, that is the, uh, your message is too long. Please try sending shorter messages. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's okay. Let me, yeah. Uh, So, <clears throat> so here I'm just sharing now the last satsang so that we can recapitulate, you know, where we were, you know, just a little bit. And so today is session number 52, 53, is except session 53. And, session number 53. and it was on page... 64 should you know hmm? we were we were no, talking 64. and we were talking about uh, should the opioid the last time hmm? Hmm? We, y la última vez hablamos de should mm -hmm. right okay right so uh, the next heading 
the next heading today on page 63, 65, sorry. Next heading on page 65 is uh, where there are kash where there are kashais, there is a jagruti. You see? Mm -hmm. Y el título es donde hay kashais, eh, hay a jagruti. Yeah, where there are kashais, there is a jagruti, lack of uh, uh, the awakened state. <laughs> Hmm? Where there are, where there is kashai, hmm? kashaya, there is a jagruti. A jagruti means that person is not awakened yet. Hmm? A jagruti. It's a jagruti not. Jagruti significa que la persona no está despierta todavía. A jagruti. So this particular sentence really does not apply to us you see you have to recognize that that we one this akram vignan awakening that we've had once awakened it is forever see once you esta, come... esta oración no se aplica a nosotros eh, de ayagruti porque una vez que se despierta nuestro ser hmm. se despierta para siempre does it mean the kashais don't happen yes the kashai now happens uh, the kashais laden material, the, you know, it's like the assembly line of pile one, you see. And the kashai laden material is coming now. And then when excited by <laughs> someone or when the timing is just right, it will, you know, it will uh, kind of come out through pile one. And so it is discharging in file one, you see. So it is there. Y, y es como una, línea, como una línea de ensamblaje que a medida que avanza el callay sale como si fuera una línea de una fábrica, digamos. Y los callay salen a través del archivo uno. Yeah, it will, it will happen in Shuda, it will happen in Damian, you know, sometimes, you know, you get upset. But simultaneously, there is this awareness that Shuddha or Damian is disturbed, not you. That same, le pasa Shuddha, yeah, le pasa yeah. Damian, pero simultáneamente nos damos cuenta que eso le pasa a Shuddha, no a nosotros. And that disturbance dies very fast. It's just that disturbance doesn't last. There is no link. There is no, there is no link associated with it, you see. And therefore it is not called a kashai for you. You know. Esa disturbancia y esa molestia se va enseguida. No hay un link entre el, el, el callae o el enojo o la explosión y, y, y tú. Yeah, you know, you know. Within minutes, sometimes within half an hour, the nimit, who the other person, uh, with whom the excitation and, uh, you know, the little disturbance happened, we will not even remember him, you see. It's... It's gone. A, a veces dura media hora con tu nimit, pero después ni te acordas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the questioner is saying, the other, the, so the questioner is asking, you know, he must be pointing to these two. People sitting there, you know. And the other she says, is asking, if these two are fighting, all right, then who is doing, who is doing that? Uh, which, uh, which powers, which authority is making uh, them do that, you see? And to see the Amapura, uh, and who's who's doing it now? If you're as long as you're seeing the fighting of two other people not involving you, then the other the should upyog remains. I can see their amapuras and they're fighting in you know in the relative. But yeah, but when I have interfered in that fight, <laughs> then I do not I do not I cannot remain in awareness. Now, did you get the question right? Yeah. <laughs> El enterrador pregunta si hay dos personas eh, peleando, entonces puedo mantener el yo de porque lo estoy mirando. 
pero al momento que yo interfiero y me meto en la pelea, es donde todo, todo se interfiere, todo pasa. Uh, I can we in Shutup Yog, in other words, Shutup Yog means a uh, real relative. I can see the real, real, and I can also see the relative. I see that the relative is fighting, uh, you know, but if I interfere in it, then I lost it. I cannot remain in Shutup Yog. That is what Dada is saying. It's an important question, you see. Hmm? En, en YouTube yo puedo ver lo real y lo relativo, entonces veo que lo relativo eh, está peleando, pero si yo me meto ahí en lo relativo y estoy perdiendo el YouTube, yo, eso es lo que yeah. dice Dada. No, I cannot remain, remain aware. You see, that's what he's saying. I cannot remain awake, aware. So what is, let us listen to Dada, what Dada says about it. Dada, she says that is indeed Kashai. Kashai is that, Kashai is now, Dada gives a new definition of Kashai. Kashai is that which makes you lose your domain, <laughs> your domain. Y, y, Dada, y Dada dice, eso en realidad, eso es justamente lo que es el Kashai. Kashai es aquello que te hace perder tu dominio. Yeah, it, it, your domain, your domain is that of the emperor of the world. You are the emperor of your world, <clears throat> you're the em emperor of the world of Damian, and inside you are the emperor of your world of the Amapura. But here Dada is talking, when he uses the word domain, he's talking of Amapura domain. You are the Amapura. But when uh, Kashai is that which makes you lose, which makes you close your domain. It closes your domain. It closes the world of Amapura. <coughs> mm -hmm. Dice que vos sos el emperador de tu dominio. Sos el emperador de tu Amapura y ese es tu dominio. Y, aquello, y lo que es Kashai es aquello que te hace salir de ser el emperador de la Amapura, de tu dominio. Yeah, domain of the self. It closes the domain of the self. And Dada she says, in this kind of uh, situation, if there are those who are with tremendous Jagruti, very intense Jagruti, they, uh, and they, the Jagruti will come to them. You know, those who have a lot of Jagruti, they will come to them. You see, uh, some usually in two to three hours, some in four hours, some in eight hours, but the Jagruti returns, you see. But otherwise, y, uh, you know, you cannot... Y Jagruti, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Esa, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Jagruti sure. retorna, puede ser en media hora, en una hora, en dos horas, pero eh, eh, no, no permanece mucho el estado de Jagruti, sino que envuelves mm -hmm. de nuevo el estado de Jagruti. Those with much Jagruti, mucho Jagruti, uh, they... They may be aware, you know, <coughs> may remain aware, you see. But otherwise, otherwise it returns in, uh, otherwise it comes in, um, you know, uh, in a few hours. Huh? Aquellos con mucho Jagruti pueden permanecer todo el tiempo conscientes, eh, pero bueno, el resto vuelve a Jagruti en, en unas pocas horas. Kashai Dada says does not Kashai does not and this is a very beautiful sentence. Kashai does not let you see the main thing. What is the main thing? Uh thing. What is the main thing, Damian? Amapura, you see? Amapura. Yeah, Kamapura. El kashai es aquello que no te deja ver tu alma pura. And, uh, Kashai does not let you see the Amapura. And therefore, that is why the Lord has called it Kashai. Kashai means uh, the awareness of the Amapura is blocked. 
You see? Blocked. It's, yeah, it's blocked. Y es por eso que le llaman callae. Callae es aquello que bloquea eh, al alma pura. La yeah, visión del alma pura. It does not let you see the alma pura, you know. You know, no if, you, uh, if you have two mahatmas, if two, you know, and this is in general. Now, this whole, this this heading is over. Mm. It is applicable to non-mahatmas, okay? <clears throat> For us. Esto es en general lo que está bajo este título y es aplicable a los que no son mahatmas. But for us, the principle applies, what Dada has described. If it's a, if you interfere, <laughs> you do dakho. <laughs> if you interfere, you know, they're fighting, you know, uh, they're fighting. You might know the two of them, see, but they're fighting, you know. You, you keep on seeing what's happening. You go and interfere, you means you automatically, that's, that's, you have now entered kashais. They're fighting because of kashais. And now you entered into kashais. You jumped into the kashai. Doesn't matter who is right or wrong. You jumped into the pool of kashais. You see? Hmm? Pero dice que el principio se aplica también para nosotros. Si tú interfieres en una pelea, estás saltando el kashai. La pelea se produce por el kashai de dos otras personas. Y si vos saltas adentro, es donde estás haciendo salir tu kashai. Yeah, in the co means you, your intellect will pull you in that direction. Says, hey, hey, come, 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 come on. Let's stop it. Come on. You know, let's go have a coffee. Forget it, man. No, you see all kinds of stuff, you see. But now you... Y daco in... significa que tu intelecto te está empujando hasta ahí. Te dices, dale, dale, metete, digamos. Es el intelecto el que te empuja hasta, hasta allá. Yeah, otherwise, you know, otherwise you can continue to be blissful aware, blissfully aware of self and the self in those who are fighting. There, it's not a, it's not a real fight. It is a relative fight. You know. Mm -hmm. Y de otra forma, vos podés, este, si, no, si no interferís, permanecer en tu, en tu ser real y en tu dicha y saber que eso no es una pelea real, sino que es una pelea eh, temporaria. Every, you know, even if you watch the television and see what's going on in Israel and Palestine, do or not, you know, you have to, you have to use this dual vision, use the dual vision. Aunque estemos en la televisión mirando lo que pasa en Israel y Palestina, también tenés que usar tu visión dual. Everybody understands that, hmm? you know. Entienden eso. Otherwise, it'll call it's called interference. You see. De otra forma se llama interferencia. Sitting, sitting comfortably in your living room in Buenos Aires or wherever you are, you know, you got no connection. You know, you know why are you interfering? Interfering means By the time you give an opinion, it's too late. But interfere means the loss of this dual vision. That's interference. See? <laughs> y si vos estás cómodamente en Buenos Aires sentado mirando la televisión, eh, eh, si perdés esa visión dual, eso es la, la interferencia. Yes, we, we discussed this the last time. <clears throat> Alejandra, do you understand, Alejandra? Yes. Alejandra, entendiste? Uh, oh, she is, uh, we just see her picture, so. Alejandra Fuentes, ahí está. <laughs> <laughs> Estoy un poco eh, chascona por sí. eh, el vento de mi casa. <laughs> oh, She I says, see. Uh, it's windy in her home, so that's why her hair is little. I say, right, okay, yeah, we see the ocean behind you too. So, right, wonderful. Ahí vemos el océano atrás. Sí, el mar. Yes, she says. Sí, sí. Entiendo mi casa en Concón, en Viña. Sí, sí, en Chile, en Viña del Mar, en Chile. Oh, I say Chile. Okay, wonderful. Yes, I should that number one. Wonderful. No. Yes. Que lo ayuda uh -huh. que entiendo muy bien 
y que justo la enseñanza que está haciendo ahora me viene perfecto para mi momento presente. He says that she understands very well what you're saying and that what you're saying it, it comes perfectly for her what he's living she's living right now at this moment. Yeah, that is happening for all of us, you see. Dice que eso nos pasa a todos. No human Todo being. No human being can watch these scenes so vivid and live on, you know, and, and not be affected, you know, but the affect, affectation or the botheration is happening at the relative level, at the relative level. We are the bliss, blessed ones, the blissful ones, you see? Mm -hmm. Dice que ningún ser humano puede resistir estas escenas que estamos viendo y no verse afectada, pero esto pasa a nivel relativo, eh, no a nivel real. Yes, Shudat Mabakwan. Shudat Mabakwan. Yes, now, uh, so we move. Anybody else wants to say anything? Huh? Marcela. ¿Alguien quiere preguntar algo, decir algo? Eh. Eh. Uh -huh. Marcela. Jay Hachetanan. Mm -hmm. eh, el relativo, el relativo en su vida cotidiana siempre tiene que escoger algo, ya sea en política o, o en conflictos familiares. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo debemos conducirnos en esos momentos? Por ejemplo, en Chile es obligatorio ir a, a votar, ¿vale? Tú tienes que ir a las urnas. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo se debe conducir uno en ese momento? Esa es la pregunta. He says that uh, in daily life, in the relative, you always have to choose something in your family life or in politics. For example, in Chile, it's compulsory to go for voting. So she has to choose some in the relative life. So how, how we manage that? How oh. we Mahatmas can manage that? It, uh, Mahatmas, for Mahatmas, is very easy. Mahatmas have to <clears throat> see what happens you know the program marcella is already a programmed uh, complex that is discharging marcella will follow what other people do marcella in rare instances may protest but you see this is also part of discharge it's all part of discharge Dice que para, para los mahatmas es muy fácil eh, vos solamente tenés que observar Marcela ya está programada todo lo que pasa ya está programado es una descarga entonces solamente tenés que observar a veces Mar podés protestar pero yeah. eso también es una descarga yeah yeah Marcelo you know, uh, the the body complex has already been programmed with its own stock of like dislike and all the reactions and the doership, you see. So the body will do what it will do. You just see what the body is doing, you see. You just see what the body is doing. That is called Shutupyog. You are not interfering, you know. You, to believe that it is happening to you, that you are voting or you're not voting, that is the error. Any voting happens. <laughs> eh, eh, él dice que eh, Marcela ya está programada con sus me gustas, no me gustan, sus tendencias. Vos solamente tenés que ver eso, observarlo y, y, yeah. y no interferir. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you go to the voting booth, you see the relative names, you know. You know, and see who Marcella chooses, that's about it. You know, all even with their names and their billboards, you know, on the streets, you see the relative and the pure soul. You, there is, you know, even the crook and the very corrupt leader see the relative and the real. By in the relative world, he's a crook. Really, he's a mafura, you see. Mm, that's it. <laughs> y, y Marcela, cuando va a votar, vota el que le parece entre los políticos. Este, simplemente tenés que tener la visión dual de, aunque sea lo, lo más corrupto del mundo, tenés que ver la parte relativa y la parte real de ese político corrupto de su alma pura. Yeah. We, we were talking with Gabi yesterday that uh, we have to get used to to talk in, in third person, to talk about Damian, not about me. And that is very helpful, uh, not for not to interfere 
Yeah, yeah. We are not used to speak like that. Yeah, well, right, but you know. Damien chooses. Yeah. You know, don't. Damien likes. Yeah, yeah, Damien, yeah. Well, you know, yes. No, make sure that it becomes, it. it is seen with awareness. Damien likes this, and therefore, you know, uh, if you can see that that way, it is, it's fine. It's wonderful, but it, it's more to be seen from inside rather than spoken. <laughs> but but the the word helps. It started, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see, yeah. Lo, lo que decía, mm -hmm. lo que decía que ayer hablábamos con Gaby de que el lenguaje ayuda mucho de hablar de Damián en tercera persona, digamos. Yeah, yeah, right. And of course, you know. Este, y Yuda me dice que sí, pero que desde yeah. que vos lo ves, desde que vos ves el relativo y el real, no es tanto yeah. hablar, sino más vale verlo. Yeah, you know, and it is a language between Mahatmas because <clears throat> if you're sitting in a coffee house in Chile or, you know, in Argentina with some friends from outside and then, you know, they're talking very, you know, animatedly and very emotionally about one side or the other, Israel or Palestine, whatever. Uh, at that time you say, please stop it. Damian doesn't like it. And then he'll say, oh, oh, where is Damian? <laughs> Dice que, bueno, que tengamos cuidado cuando estamos con no Mahatmas, porque, bueno, si estamos en un, en un café en Chile o en Argentina y decimos, no, Damian no le gusta esto, puede sonar un poco raro para, los, para las personas que no, que no lo conocen. Yeah. Well, if they ask you, why are you speaking like that? You are Damien. You can say, that's a secret. I mean, you know, that's between me and Damien. Y dice, si te preguntan por qué, por qué hablas así, este, vos podés decir, bueno, esto este, este, yo y Damien, digamos, es algo así. Yeah, uh, you know, um, so, um, yes, Gabi, what is it that you want Gabi. to una, una pregunta un, un poquito como existencial eh, tengo una duda eh, Yuda, con respecto a esto de, eh, de esto del cielo el infierno Mahavid etc eh, Moksha eh, estos estadios estos estadios eh, hay una parte, una parte de mí que, que como que no, yo sé que no hay que comprenderlo esto, pero quiero tratar de entender, porque a veces me parece que, que como que todo está ocurriendo aquí mismo. Me cuesta mucho eh, entender que, que esto sea solo como después de la muerte. Eh, es como que a veces siento que... Eh, que todo está ocurriendo como a un tiempo extraño. Eh, no sé, Dami, si podía... Hasta aquí, perdón. Voy a tratar. She has a doubt about heaven, hell, monks, Mahavide. She feels that everything is happening at the same time, in the same place. So she, she cannot differentiate. Uh, uh, she has a doubt about what it is, all that. And that if you have to... Uh, wait until you are dead to be there, or everything is happening at the same time in here. Yes, uh, yeah, it's a very good question and a very, you know, uh, relevant and valid question. The only thing that you don't have doubt about is moksha. Yes, <laughs> yes, you can es have that. Muy buena pregunta, muy relevante. Lo único que no tenés que tener duda es sobre moksha. Because, no. because moksha is already here right now for you. You know, you, deep down inside, you are not disturbed. You know, no matter what is happening to the world, you are fine. You are okay. You see, you are in. It doesn't y, y moksha touch. está aquí para vos. Eh, es, es moksha es eso de que vos, a vos todo lo que pasa en el mundo no te molesta, no te disturba. Yeah. Heaven. And hell is a state of the mind of a human being. You see, it is the substrate of heaven and hell is the mind of the human being. You see, uh, 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 
and you're right heaven and hell is right here you see and then of course you know it it is visible it is visible you can see the hell that the person with widespread cancer suffers in the body widespread cancer is hell right here you see you know y, y el cielo y el infierno eh, tienen como sustrato la mente están en la mente pero también es visible vos podés ver una persona con un este cáncer esparcido por todos lados eso es el infierno or you can see the hell that's going on in in Gaza you see this hell you know it's o también podés verlo en Gaza you don't have to go there to to know it know about it you see you know you don't have to no tenés que ir allá para conocerlo ya yeah, lo, ya lo... Yeah. yes you see so these all of these and heavens too in terms of all the beauty of you know, of life you see uh, around us y el cielo también en términos de toda la belleza de la vida yeah you know uh, the smile of a happy child you know uh, the blossoming of the flowers in the in the gardens you know the wonderful breeze and all birds and all everything you know it's it's heavenly it's beautiful so ultimately it writes boils down to two states that are constantly changing you're you know they're there but you know it's right here right here and <clears throat> When a person is not awakened, uh, he is very susceptible, very liable to get involved in these two, you see. Mm -hmm. Y el cielo es cuando vos ves la sonrisa de un niño o una flor florecer o la brisa, eso es el cielo. Entonces son dos estados, cielo e infierno, que están completamente alternando todo el, todo el tiempo. Mm -hmm. Y yeah. es la gente que no está despierta yeah. de que yeah. no, no consigue distinguir eso. The other part, uh, afterwards, later on, <laughs> uh, there is no later on, really. <laughs> you know, if you really want the answer, there is no later on. Every later on becomes now. <laughs> dice, eh, Julia dice que no hay más tarde, eh, que todo más tarde eh, se convierte en ahora. Oh. Yeah, this now is the is what we see through this body, mm. and this body is, you know, one body is in maybe in pain, the other body is happy and satisfied, etc. Now, with this, the ability to see the changing states of this body as they are is moksha to see this you know to see this is moksha you're seeing this change it's just like the weather you know it's a beautiful sunny day and all of a sudden it just gets dark dark clouds and all etc and then again so uh heaven and hell the definitions of these are in the scriptures, in the books, but, you know, in the books, but, you know, what have the books do, what have the books got to do with our state, the, the current state of our being, you see? Here you and I are pure Amapuras, you know, aware of that which is happening now, you see, as it is happening, you know? <laughs> Dice que el cielo y el infierno son definiciones que están en la escritura, pero es vos sos alma pura que está ahora y que está despierta. Yeah. The heaven and hell is a projection of the mind, you see. Oh, this is horrible. This is horrible. And this is so lovely. You know, it's like the magazines about the, you know, the vacation magazines, you know, all beautiful pictures. Oh, it's so lovely over there. Y los infiernos son proyecciones de la mente, es como si vieras una revista. Oh, qué lindo que es, oh, esto es horrible. Yeah. 
you can prepare a very nice breakfast late on the table in the veranda, you know, or wherever the sun is filtering, there is beautiful music going on, nobody is bothering you, you see, there's a little, little flowers, all that, you know, you got that. Vos is... puedes preparar un rico desayuno y poner flores y pasar un lindo momento y eso es, eso es el cielo. But heaven is when the mind is not bothered by anything. That is heaven. And when the mind is filled with all kinds of kashais, then that is hell right here. You see? Ah. Y cuando la mente está llena de kashais, eso es el infierno, realmente. These, these are palpable. This you can feel. They can see. Oh. What do you... And then the rest is the imagination of human beings that is now gone into scriptures also. There are, you know, all kinds of hell, you know, all kinds of hell and heaven. Well, <laughs> you know. Uh, y el resto es imaginación de los seres humanos que escriben toda clase de infiernos y todo. How, how will you... How will you experience those heavens and hells? Still, there will be a human body, no? And so, the human being will go through hell or heaven. You know, pleasures of all the pleasures you want to dream about. You know, or you know, all the worst kind of pain and torture you want to dream about. All right, you know, well, who is this going to happen to? Then the answer is is directly related to the cause and effects phenomenon. Where and how, what does it matter? The suffering is there, you know, for such a human being, you see. Whether it is suffering the, the lovely things or whether he's suffering the horrible things, both are there, right there. He, where, oh, he is suffering in Australia or he's suffering in another world. What difference does it make? That is a sense, essence is suffering. Where he is, what difference does it make? The suffering is a critical thing. <laughs> Dice que todos estos disfrutes o dolores se producen a través de este cuerpo. Entonces, o está doliendo, o le está doliendo, o está disfrutando. ¿Qué importa si está, le duele en Australia o en Europa, digamos? Eh, está sufriendo. Yeah, it's the fear of God that is instilled by these uh, middlemen, the brokers of religion. You see, the brokers of religion. Es este miedo a Dios que ha sido instilado por estos hombres del medio, estos, ¿cómo se dice? Estos intermediarios de la religión. You better behave, otherwise you'll burn in hell. All right, well, you know. Portate bien porque si no orderás en el infierno. Esos son los intermediarios de la religión. Instead, why not? Why not give them the knowledge of who they are and why this suffering is going on? You see, the suffering of hell or heaven. Why is it there? You see, hmm? give them the knowledge. En lugar de eso, porque no nos focalizamos. Por qué este este sufrimiento disfrute está ahí? Por qué pasa? Yeah. So every the other famous words are every tomorrow becomes today. <laughs> Entonces la, las, las palabras de Dada es que cada mañana se vuelve hoy. Yeah, and it is experienced through the medium of the body, the knower. Oh. Yeah, the knower <laughs> continues to see. El cuerpo. The knower continues to see the tum, you know, the changing states of this body. You know, this body will. And there will come a time when this body will no longer be there, but I will be there. You see, I will, I'll be there. Do. Y este uh, conocedor se mantiene conociendo y observando este cuerpo que sabe que está ahí, pero mañana no estará más allí, pero que yo seguiré estando ahí. Do if you ask me, do I have uh, any kind of idea or concerns about the next body? And the answer is no. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> I don't know. Preguntas, ¿Tengo alguna preocupación, alguna idea de cuál será mi próximo cuerpo? No, no tengo la más mínima idea y no me preocupo. Yeah. Now, but Dada says that we have another body, one more body, but that's going to be in a in uh, another Mahavidikshetra. And that's fine. If that Dada says that, that's great too. Fine. You know, we have accepted 99 
percent of the talks of the other. So we accept that one person that doesn't fit for us. You know, we say the other has said it. That's it. Dada dijo que tendremos un cuerpo más en Mahavid, etc. Entonces, bueno, si lo dijo Dada, creemos el 99% de todo de todo lo que dice, creemos también eso. You know, we and I, my dear, we all have experienced moksha right here and now. A living moksha, you see. We are mukt atmas, we are free souls. You know, mukt atma means free souls. We are free souls. We are not. Y nosotros somos almas libres y por eso experimentamos moksha aquí y ahora. And we are not chained or bound by anything, you see. You know? No estamos atados por nada ni encadenados. And, and our vision, our vision is such, our vision is such, you see, uh, that it immediately takes, makes everything, all chains and all the problems dissolve, vanish, you see, that preserves no our and uh, uh, a free state. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Y nuestra visión es tal que, que disuelve todos los problemas y todas las cadenas y nos lleva a este estado de libertad. Yeah. Uh, you see, this uh, the essential focus, the essential energy has to be on the here and the now. You know, how, how is it now? And how is it now? Oh, I am blissful. Gabi has some questions. Is Gabi worried about hell or heaven? Answer is, I can answer for Gabi. Gabi is not worried about hell or heaven. Is Gabi worried about hell or heaven and punishment? ¿Te preocupa que es el cielo o el infierno y el castigo? Lo importante, dice Yoda, es focalizarnos en el aquí y ahora. Yo, life has been so. Es que en ese aquí y ahora es que la pregunta era porque es ahora en el presente que eh, Gaby y yo eh, nos paseamos en estos estados. Yeah, este... This question of here and now is because here and now, Gaby and I, eh, we go around all these states. Go around all these states. States, state, states, 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 relative states, right? Yeah, relative. And yo estoy en Moksha, en, en Moksha, Gaby está en el infierno, en el cielo. I'm in eh, Moksha, eh, Gaby is in es un, heaven. Es una, es un, una trilogía que, que, que está ocurriendo todo en, en el presente. Y hay It's otra like, parte uh, que solo quiere that. nada, que quiere una nada total. Oh, It's a trilogy that is happening right now, but in reality, she doesn't want anything. Yeah, the imaginations will, you know, this is, these are all the residual, uh, the colored water that is coming out of the tank, you see, you know, it's not heavy duty, you know, plugs, you know, it is, it's just water flowing, but it is not absolutely crystal clear from the tank of Gabi's karma. It's just, you know, some of it is tinted, that's all, you know. It's tinted or colored. Dice que es solamente agua que está saliendo del tanque de karma de Gaby, que no siempre es cristalina y sale y que no es heavy duty, no es una cosa. It's emptying, emptying, emptying tanks, you see. These are emptying tanks, you see. They, they empty sometimes, but you know, you, now it's clear, you cannot uh, say it's all clear now, because you know, you never know what's going to come out later, but we have no anxieties or fears about what's going to come out of Shud or Gabi or Damian, you know, oh, you know, even the body, even the body is becoming so pure. It's not for the world, it is for you to know this, you see. Even the body is flawless. Pure means there are no faults here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I have a work here. Somebody <laughs> hitting the wall. And I cannot. I cannot hear anything. Oh, uh, can you can, can you hear? Break? Can <clears throat> okay, break? yeah. Let's let's take a break. Yeah, let's take a break and we'll come back. Okay, about ten minutes. All right. Yeah. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's such.
Okay, all right. So, yes, can you hear me, Damien? You're, you're muted. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can you hear the noise in the back of my... No, I can't. My... No, I ah, can't. You cannot? Okay. Great. No, I, I cannot hear you. Any noise there, you know. Okay. Um, does anybody else hear the noise in Damien's place? But I, I don't think so. Everybody okay with the, the sound, right? Hmm? I, I went to the other apartment to interfere and say, please don't make noise. I'm translating. So <laughs> I think. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's... Very calmly. Calmly. <laughs> yeah, very calming. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <clears throat> two, days, two days ago, I go shouting there, why are you doing such a such a noise? And and, and I realized after that that I was interfering at that time. <laughs> yeah, right. You see, the I'm glad you mentioned that because the index or the thermometer for interference is that you will you yourself will feel disturbed. You see, is the kashai kasha is the interference, you see, you know. If you don't, if you can say it without kashais, then there is no interference. <laughs> Let me translate for everybody. Uh -huh. Estamos hablando, yo acá tengo una obra, están martillando y un montón de ruido, no sé si pueden escuchar. Eh, bueno, le dije que había ido a hablar con los obreros a interferir con el ruido para poder traducir ahora esta, esta obra. Y le contaba que hace dos días fui gritando a patearle la puerta al otro departamento porque me estaba volviendo loco. Y ahí me di cuenta que estaba interfiriendo. Entonces, eh, eh, Judah dice que tenemos un termómetro eh, para darnos cuenta cuando estamos interfiriendo. Solo nos damos cuenta. Or, you know, or on the other hand, if you say it so nicely that the other person will taunt, he will kind of um, make fun of you. Aha, let us stop making any noise. Santo. Damian um, Barreta <laughs> is here, you see, so <laughs> you have to sí. see both, you have to see both. Dice, dice que si lo decís de una forma calmada, eh, el otro dice, sí, San Damian vino a pedirme este, que pare de hacer ruido. Entonces, <laughs> generas una reacción en el otro también. So, you know, both ways continue to see, see the waves in this ocean, on the surface of the ocean, that's all. You say some waves are destructive and other, other waves are gentle, you see. So this is how it is for the humanity. Este, este oceano, este mm -hmm. oceano es así. Algunas olas nos llevan este, dulcemente y otras nos, nos tiran mm -hmm. abajo. Así es el oceano de la vida. Muy... Deep down inside they're all amapuras. <laughs> en lo profundo son todas amapuras. Yeah. Some of the walls are thin. You see, so you hear everything, what's going on in the next apartment or upstairs or downstairs or everything, right? And uh, sí, que a veces las, las paredes son finitas, entonces vos podés escuchar todo lo que dicen los departamentos del costado y de arriba. And, and that is how it is. You see, that's how it is. Some people have their apartments near the train station, you see, like the subway station, so every Five minutes, ten minutes, tag, 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 the big noise, you know, about 24 hours or, you know, all until midnight. And the guest will say, I don't know how you can sleep. <laughs> you know. Y algunas personas viven al lado del ferrocarril y tienen ese ruido de los trenes hasta toda la noche y dicen, no sé cómo puedes dormir. Yeah, this... Uh... In many parts of India, many cities of India, they're noisy, noisy. New York City is noisy, yeah. noisy, you see. Mm. Mm. Hablando que en la India hay lugares es muy ruidosa y también Nueva York y hablando del ruido. 
And in the late in the night, it's all the garbage collectors, you know, with the big noise of the trucks. You see, so <laughs> it's noise twenty all time. And, and after after taking the ceremony, is especially bothering the noise. Have you experimented that that the noise bothers you much more than before? For me, yeah. it's very clear. Yes, um, it's it's it it reflects on on what has happened. You are entering, you know, you are entering the space of silence. Even the subtlest noise, you're aware of it. So, so you say now, you know, so you are switching switch to the awareness mode rather than it's bothering me. <laughs> You see, you know, say, so, so, you know, yes, you know, that Damien is becoming more sensitive to noise and that it happens to, it, it happens to many, le, you know. Mm -hmm. Le cuento que después de que tomé la ceremonia me volví mucho más, que me molesta mucho más el ruido. Y dice que sí, que es posible porque eh, cuando después de la ceremonia entramos en un espacio de silencio. Again, y, yeah. Molesta. Again, a sign of Saint Damien. <laughs> Es un, es un signo de Damian, no <laughs> No, and, and just, you know, this, when purity arises, when purity arises within, in it all its glory, it, its vibrations uh, uh, are unmatched. They are, they are not the vibrations of anything in the relative, you know. Mm -hmm. Cuando yeah. la pureza entra dentro de nuestro son vibraciones que no tienen nada que ver con las vibraciones de nuestro relativo. Es como yeah. una vibración nueva. Yes. Uh -huh. So, you know, we can proceed further and <clears throat> this is the, you know, in this last heading that, you know, kashai, where there is kashai, there is a lack of you know, the awareness is blocked. Awareness of the self is blocked. Uh, and uh, uh, that is how it is. Kashai blocks self-awareness, you see. Esto, esto que vimos en el último título es cómo los kashais bloquean nuestra upa yoga, nuestra nuestra conciencia del ser y es así como es dice eso nuestro casa es bloquea nuestra conciencia and so Dada immediately lifts us up and says go with the agnas lift go with your agnas you see because you know you might uh, uh, you know with by being in agnas you can you can go from inside and console uh, Damian or Cecilia saying, my dear, my friend, it's relative, it's relative. Mm -hmm. Y ahí Dada dice, vayan con los agnas, que los agnas es la forma de, de, de estar y de consolar a nuestro relativo, es, este, de, es tomar conciencia que esto es relativo. Yeah, the biggest obstacle to this is the, that, the blaming that happens. These guys are doing it. <laughs> the, y lo más the other cuando, person cuando, is cuando doing vamos it. A alguien, cuando echamos la culpa fuera de nosotros. Yeah, this. So it's a process within all of us that is exact science in operation now. You know, for all of us. Hmm? Y es un proceso dentro de nosotros donde está la ciencia exacta. Mm -hmm. en Está operando dentro de and Marcella has already translated the next paragraph. It's only a question and an answer, you see. So the questioner is asking, suppose for purposes of the benefit of the self, Amapura, uh, I look at my own faults and then analyze those faults, you see. Do an analysis of those faults. What is that? The other she says is a good thing. You see, it is a good thing. Mm -hmm. Ahí la pregunta que había traducido Marcela, que ahí está en el chat, dice, supóngase que eh, veo una falta mía y la analizo, y hago un análisis de esa falta. Eh, ¿Para qué la analizo? Le pregunta Nadada. Y Nadada dice, analizar la falta es una buena cosa. Yeah. Es una uh, buena cosa. 
and uh, and uh, you know the other she says that too is called upyog but uh, another qualifies that upyog of the samayik he says it is an upyog uh, that is designed it's an upyog that you design to arrive at shuddha upyog <laughs> Uh, y eso se llama upyog y es una upyog que vos de, diseñas para arribar a tu shud upyog. Yeah, in other words, like when we do pratikramans in samayik, when you do samayik and you see the fault of file one, you know, and then you make file one is now doing pratikramans, you are seeing that file one is doing pratikramans. You see, uh, it is. The doing part is not Shuddha Upyog. The process of seeing the Amapura of the other person with whom you had a fight maybe 10 years ago, seeing that Amapura of that person is Shuddha Upyog. You see, see the difference? You see? Y cuando, y cuando se practicaba no Samaik y ves eh, a, al alma pura de la otra persona, eh, eso es Shuddha Upyog ver el alma pura de la otra persona. That is why... relativo pidiéndole perdón al alma pura de la otra persona. Yeah, so they, that's why we immediately connect with the alma pura. Oh, alma pura within this man or woman so and so, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago. It, the time is not the problem. The moment it comes in your space, he or she comes in your space, there is a reason why he is coming in your space. It is asking for you to do the darshan of the ama inside the pure one inside and also secondarily also just clear it, clear it off just clean it out you know wash it off mm. y es la conexión con la otra alma pura donde se produce eh, este proceso y, y es, es esa conexión que se llama shod upyog y y y pone todo lo demás que queda en segundo plano es lo que se limpia, pero lo importante es la conexión con la otra alma pura. The analysis part, you see, the analysis part is essentially, you know, you don't want to get too much into it. If it tells you, that if the ultimate, whatever you analyze, the ultimate, if it comes down to, it's my fault. <laughs> it's my fault. Then it's enough. The analysis is done. You see, <laughs> but if the analysis leads you to, oh, but he did it or she did it, then then something is missing. Y, y, y el, el análisis y se ayuda nos debe conducir a decir, oh, es mi falta. Eh, no quiere meterse mucho en el tema análisis, pero eh, no que no que análisis no es la falta del otro o con la culpa del otro, sino que llegues a la conclusión de que es tu propia falta. Some faults are some. Some things that have happened to a human being in his previous life, you know, in his past life, not previous life, past life, are so, so difficult, you know, to come to an understanding, exact understanding. And so in those kind of faults, um, Only, the only thing that helps is Agnas, you know, and uh, Dada's vision, Dada's vision of the self, you see. Uh, and, uh, oh, Dada, this is a tough problem for me. Please help me, you see. Mm. Y, y en las vidas pasadas, eh, hemos pasado por cosas tan, tan terribles que no vale la pena... Eh... Y, y que esa, esa cosa terrible es lo que te proyecta a, a tu falta de esta vida. Entonces no vale la pena eh, reconocer más que, que es tu propia falta. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is just, uh, just, you know, those, the moment you proclaim with amazing <clears throat> energy, I am pure soul, I am absolute pure soul, I am full of, you know, it's just the qualities of the self, heavy duty, 
you know, you just say it again and again, 25 times this, you see. You know, it lifts you up so that you can see with more clarity. You know, more light that allows you to see with more clarity and it just goes away. You see, it's not Al momento que, que vos proclama, proclamas soy alma pura con toda tu fuerza, repetís 25 veces, eh, eso te da, es como un ascensor que te levanta y te da más claridad para ver lo que está pasando. Dada has said that when Kashai's arise, and the questioner was asked, in, this is in the Dadavani of the Siddha Stuti, you see, <clears throat> uh, a few years ago, a couple of years ago, there was a Dadavani, beautiful Dadavani of the Siddha Stuti, mm -hmm, the qualities of the self. And so the questioner is asking Dada, <clears throat> when Kashais happen, when Kashais happen, should I do Pratikraman or should I do Pratikraman? And the other says, no, do the Siddha Suti. Do the Siddha Suti. You see, it is a very interesting answer, you know. is you know, Dada probably could see that in doing the Pratikraman, the guy gets pulled down because he feels like, I did it, I, this happened, it was very bad. So do the Siddha Suti first, become very solid here, you know. And then see what's happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. En el Dadavani de Sira Stuti, que fue hace un, un par de años, le preguntan a Dada, Dada, cuando hago calláis, tengo que hacer Pratikraman, y Dada dice, no, haz de Sira Stuti. Eh, eso es porque el, el Pratikraman te, 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 tira, te tira para abajo, digamos. Eh, entonces, eh, Dada contesta, hagan el Sira Stuti, donde se acuerdan de las propiedades del ser. Always, before you sit down into any of those things, you really, even, you know, that is why in the exact vidhi of the Samaik, which is in the uh, our Pratikraman book, Dada, before he play, puts everyone in Samaik, he makes them not only say, I surrender my mind, speech, and body, and then I'm pure soul, but he goes into a few of the words of the Gnanvidi, a few of the sentences of the Gnanvidi, and then he says, okay, now go in, inside, see what's happening, you see. Hmm? Y aun cuando Dada, este, en, el, en el mismo Samaik, es donde recitamos eh, parte de, de las oraciones que hicimos en, en, la, en la ceremonia sobre las propiedades del ser, y luego repetimos soy alma pura, y luego Entramos en nuestro adentro para analizar qué es lo que está pasando. It is in the last, uh, it's in our main book of Pratikraman, you know, the big book of Pratikraman, you know, somewhere at the back, you know, it is there. The Vidhi, of, in the Vidhi for the Samaik, if you look in it, you will find it, you see. Mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. Ese Vidhi está en el libro grande de Pratikraman, en el, este, ahí está ese Vidhi para el Samaik. Hello, I, hello. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yeah. Go on. Sorry, I just am expecting a call, but it was the wrong person. <laughs> uh, the. Vidhi for us. So, Upyog, you know, analysis is too is Upyog, but it is actually, if you analyze something, you know, they, you know, they say, go ahead, in, do introspection. Introspection and analysis is the same. You know, why, you look inside and you say, why did this happen? You know, what's the reason for it? You know, to look inside. Well, you will probably arrive at one of four things. Either you have a, a kashai of pride, I mean, a knot of pride, your own pride was hurt, or your uh, some greed is coming in, or some deceit is coming in. And if you can see this within file one, you have come to the answer. You see, you have come to the answer, you know, why it happened. Y, y en, el, en el análisis que, que también se llama introspección, es donde vos analizás eh, eh, la falta y decís por qué pasa, a quién afectó, y ahí vienen cuatro calláis que son básicamente la, la, 
Ah, el orgullo. Yeah. Eh, ¿Y por qué viene el orgullo? Sí. Yeah, this, this, the generators of those kashais are still there. You see, they acti activate inside you. And if they are gone, anger is gone, pride is gone, deceit is gone, greed is gone. You have become, you have become. Y los generadores de esos kashais es lo que está ahí adentro, que si vos lográs eh, analizar y llegar a esos generadores de los calláis, el, el, la ira se va, el orgullo se va, la codicia se va. You, then there is nothing to ignite inside, and then you are absolutely free. You see, you have attained the exact experience of who you are. You have attained the exact experience of who you are. Hmm? Y si no hay nada que haga chispas ahí, eh, vos sos libre y, y sos exactamente quién sos. Yes, you know. Um, so, don't be too concerned about too much analysis. You don't know. You recognize that the whole intent was to come into <laughs> Shuddha <Yes. laughs> You know, Shuddha Pyog. Who is this happening to? Uh, who is that other person that you had a fight with? Who is that person? You see? Yeah. You had a fight with somebody. Who is that person? You have to apply the question to that person. Who is he? You can say, he is bad. This, no, you don't see, you are not seeing uh, the exactness. You have to see that person in exactness. His file was fighting with my file. He is pure soul. You see? Mm -hmm. Y cuando hagas el análisis, eh, vos tenés que preguntarte quién es eh, la otra persona. Por ejemplo, si yo estoy peleando con otra persona, ¿quién es esa persona? ¿Es mi archivo que está peleando con el otro archivo? Digamos, esa es la forma que tenemos de verlo. ¿Sí? 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 You know, uh, we are understanding more about Upyog today. Um, the next question. Ya vamos a niveles más altos del Upyog para entender más sobre qué es el este Upyog. So the next is uh, unbroken, unbroken, uh, uninterrupted, uh, uninterrupted Upyog. Hmm? Upyog. Yeah. Eh, y el título ahora es eh, sin, Irrompible e Ininterrumpible Upiok. Questioner is asking. This is a little complicated. I'm just... Um... Let me just get it right when as I read it in Gujarati first. <clears throat> it's a it's a complicated question that the questioner is asking. He's saying, uh, you know, in the questioner is let's let's Dada will clarify it, but let's let's begin. The questioner is saying. In worldly interactions, if I'm having fun, you know, I'm smiling, laughing, talking, you see. Uh, and I'm, I'm taking pleasure from the body. The body is uh, having fun, you see. So I'm having fun, you see. Uh, like y when you're when with your es, friends. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La el, esta es una pregunta un poco complicada que le hacen a Dada que dice... Si yo estoy divirtiéndome con mi cuerpo, estoy este, riéndome, teniendo un, un momento divertido. So when I am having fun with my friends, simple example, when I'm having fun with my friends, then that other one, which is, he says, this awareness of Amapura <laughs> comes down. The awareness of Amapura is not that high, you see. Cuando estoy pasando un buen momento con mis amigos, esta conciencia del alma pura baja, no es tan alta como siempre. Y so, you know, when I, you know, I'm having fun with my friends, the awareness goes down, 
And when I remain dramatic or superfluous, when I just remain dramatic or superfluous, then, then I do not get any effect of this pleasures that are coming from being, you know, the body part, you know, where the body is interacting, I I do not get the effect from it. You see, now, you know, questioners, remember the questioners can ask a question in so many different ways. We don't have to focus on the question so much as what the answer of the other is, you see. Go on, yeah. He mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. when I say superfluous, superfluous. Would, say, would be so, this. Superfluous means, superfluous means you're just it, like a, treating like a drama. You're not really affected. You're not touched inside. That okay. is called superfluous. You see, you know, you know, you you you, uh, yeah, you active. You know, you enter into you know you interact, but it is not touching you. You just you're not taking okay. it seriously. You know. Hmm? Entonces la pregunta es, cuando estoy con mis amigos divirtiéndome, pasando un buen momento, mi upa ya baja. Y cuando me mantengo eh, mirando la escena como desde afuera, que es la palabra superfluos, que no tiene una traducción exacta en el español, es como si yo estuviera separado mirando la escena, no siento tanto las cosas en mi cuerpo. Pero dice ayuda que no es tan interesante la pregunta, sino la respuesta de Dada. Uh, superfluous, you see, being superfluous or dramatic, you see, when I remain uh, uh, dash dramatic, you see, as if you're playing just a role, you know, you're playing a role, you know, as you know, on on a on, in a drama, dramatic, you see, you're just playing a drama. This, you know, hmm? uh, I do not get affected. Hmm get affected, you know, and in other words, affected by the fun. You see, the fun goes on, like in the party or when you're with your buddies and friends, the fun goes on, but it doesn't touch me. That fun part doesn't touch me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dice que esa parte de disfrute cuando está, cuando está como superfluo o, se, o mirando la escena como en una obra de teatro, la parte de, de lo divertido de estar con sus amigos no le afecta, es como si sintiera menos esa diversión. The other says answer is very simple. The other says it goes down your uh, applied awareness should the upyog goes down because the upyog isn't there. You're not applying the upyog, therefore it goes down. If you don't use the upyog, it goes down. <laughs> Dada le dice, no, no es que baja tu upyog o tu conciencia este, despierta, sino que no está. Yeah, there, is, there is no upyog, that's why it goes down, you see. <laughs> uh, you'll remember this Akram Vignan celebration is something that has been given to us. It has arisen, you know, out of nowhere in this life of ours, in this in this life, in, in this life, for all of us. You know, we have to cultivate and nurture it. We have to treat it like an, a mother would treat the little one whom she has just given birth to, you know. You know. Yeah, this is how you have to know. Ask Rambinia, dice, Yuda, este, nos vino así de la nada y que lo tenemos que nutrir como una madre a su bebé. Yeah, yeah, it goes down. You know, you have to, yes, after a while, once the baby becomes strong and is running around, then you do not require as much attention, right? <laughs> Cuando el bebé va creciendo y empieza a caminar, no requiere tanta atención, ¿no es cierto? Yeah, uh, so in the initial years it requires, rather she says, uh, upyog, if you have the upyog, then it will not go down. If you have the upyog, If you are in opiog, it doesn't go down. If you are not in opiog, opiog goes down. There's nobody to hold it up. <laughs> if you've got a very bright light, if you've got a very powerful laser light that can see, you know, up to half a mile, you know, under in the darkness, you know, far away, you know, 
it works as long as you hold it but if you know if you don't hold it it's you know it's dark again <laughs> dice que no hay grados de opio está o no está si vos tenés una linterna que alumbra a tres millas si podés ver lo que pasa dentro de tres millas si apagás si sacás el dedo no ves más digamos es no es que hay sube o baja this is this is Dada's words this is uh, that is why Dada says that the upyog should remain the entire day. The upyog should remain the entire day. These are where these are words coming from Dada. They, I'm just sharing those words with you. The upyog should remain all day long. Y es por eso que Dada dice que el upyog tiene que permanecer todo el día. You understand, Etel Vina? You understand, my dear? <laughs> yeah, you understand? Yeah, good. Yeah, well, I'm sure. Dada's grace is working within all of us, you know. Mm -hmm. We understand, we love it. We just... So no, no more fun with the friends? No, 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 no. That's not what Dada has said. <laughs> Have but the you fun. feel less. Have no, less. no, have the fun, but don't get so involved that you lose the opioid. <laughs> no quiere decir que no te diviertas más con tus amigos, sino que estés con tus amigos, pero que no pierdas el opioid. Periodically, you know. You know, say, because usually when friends get together, four or five, you know, they are, sooner or later they will sit down and then or they will have some food together, right? Again, that is your chance to, you know, come into a field. Now the food is in there in front of you, you know. So, you know, you apply these beautiful sentences, you know, of the other. And the ultimate of yoga is now the eater is going to eat and I'm going to see him eating the food, you know, and appreciating this food. Now, then you look at when you're sitting and when you're chewing, you you shouldn't be talking when you're chewing food or you haven't got food in your mouth. So look at the Amapura, the other person who is also eating. It doesn't prevent you to pay attention to what he's saying, you know, you can do both. Amapura doesn't say you, you know, you, if he's telling a joke, you will listen to the joke and smile and, you know, whatever. But so both can go on at the same time. Yeah. Dice Shura que eh, con los amigos las dos cosas pueden ir al mismo tiempo. Por ejemplo, generalmente cuando nos cruzamos con los amigos, comemos. Ese es el momento de, de, de parar y decir el que tiene que comer, come. Y yo observo. Y es un momento para volver a resetear. Y, y cuando estamos comiendo, generalmente este, no hablamos y podemos aprovechar para ver el alma pura en nuestros amigos. The fun, the pleasure of Damian or Claudia or Cecilia is not at all touched. Cannot be touched. Uh, it continues it it is for it is being experienced at the body level the body level the ego says oh i'm you know i i want to enjoy this time with my friends you know and i want to share you know everything with them you know el, so el disfrute no, no no es tocado digamos este vos eso va por un carril separado vos puedes estar divirtiéndote con tus amigos y a la vez Estar en, en conciencia. While you're having fun with them, if the conversation turns into uh, something negative about another person, <clears throat> you should not, you should, as soon as you hear the name of that other person, you should also see the Amapura in that other person, you see, the, you know. Y si, y si la conversación se torna en criticar a otra persona, vos a, ahí automáticamente tratas de ver el alma pura en la otra persona yeah. que te están criticando. 
So, you know, the pleasure and the pains and the accounts of pleasure and the pains are of the body of this non-self complex. They are not just like the account that, of heaven and hell that, out of the body, you know, they're not of, they're not yours, they're not of the Amapura. Hmm? Las cuentas de dolor y placer son del cuerpo, no son del Amapura, o sea, como hablamos del cielo y del infierno, son del cuerpo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so there is, um, what he's talking about, the, you know, there is what what is, uh, you know, the, the, the questioner is more worried about effect <laughs> is the questioner is not in the exact opio yet as dada is trying to tell describe which you know being in opio you are not concerned about loss of awareness or not awareness being in opio means you're in opio you see when you see amapura and relative relative and amapura you're in opio Slipping out of the upyog, you know, now you're in the world of kashais and effects and, oh, I lost the upyog. Well, <laughs> what do you mean you lost the upyog? The upyog was never yours in the first place. <laughs> Dice que el interrogador que le preguntaba a Dada estaba más preocupado por el efecto que por el upyog. O vos estás en upyog o no estás en upyog. No estás pendiente si lo perdés al upyog. Eh, yeah. Y después de todo, el upio que es un estado, no es tuyo. Yeah, es yeah. Estado. yeah. Uh, the, the moment you say, I lost upio, you should be aware of the one who is saying this. <laughs> eh, eh, al momento que voy a decir, yo perdí el upio, tenés que saber quién lo está diciendo. Yeah. And the other continues now, the other she says, In the third paragraph of Upyog here, let me see how big this thing is. Yeah, this is the last paragraph now that I guess. Upyog vagar to amar uman sehje rakhe nahi ne. Dadashtri is talking about his Upyog now, his Upyog. He says, we never... Dada habla de su propio Upyog. We never keep our mind uh, without Upyog. This is a new... Uh, Dada is talking about new use uh, new use of the mind you have to keep the mind occupied with something you, you have to let the mind use something if the mind that is sitting idle and not doing anything it will become like a monkey you see and so you give uh You you put the mind the job. The mind. job the, the job of the mind is hey mind of the Shuddha and Damien see the Amapura of that other person you see you see the Amapura. Da, da dice sobre su upayog dice yo siempre mantengo mi mente en upayog y esto es un todo un nuevo significado que da dada al trabajo de la mente eh, mm -hmm. si nosotros no pusiéramos nada en la mente seríamos como monos Eso, en cambio eh. Eh, tenemos que darle una ocupación a la mente y es estar en upayog Wherever the mind goes, employ the mind in this dual of yoga. See the Amapura. A cualquier lado que vaya la mente, empleemos la mente en tener esta visión dual de ver el alma pura en el otro, y eso es yoga. Yes, if it is a living thing, if it is a non-living thing, just see it, just see it. Mm -hmm. Eso sí es una cosa, una persona viva. Si no es viva, si no es una cosa viva, simplemente veámosla. If it's a non-living thing and it is, and you see why the mind keeps on showing coffee or cheesecake again and again, that means the mind wants it, you see, right? You know. <laughs> si la mente se, está focalizada en un helado o en una torta, eh, significa que es, desea eso. Yeah, so the other she says, if if our upyog becomes a little weak anywhere, that we immediately reset it. We immediately reset it. You see, so uh, I, I reset it in such a way that the upyog continues throughout the day for us. Throughout the day for us, Dada. You see. Hmm? Y Dada dice si sí, nuestro upyog se debilita inmediatamente lo reseteamos para poder mantener el surupiok eh, todo el día. The, and now Dada says something important here. 
you know, you've all seen uh, the scenes and Marcella was showing the video scenes of Mahatma's uh, Niruma and others around washing the feet of Dada first with water and then with milk and then with water again, you see, and then drying it off with uh, a fresh cloth, you see. Uh, so they, you know, Dada is sitting and the Mahatmas are turn by turn, you know, also participating in that process. Y vemos una escena donde está Dada, donde Niruma le limpia los pies, primero con agua, después con leche, y después varios Mahatmas continúan con el proceso. Dada says when they are washing the feet, uh, then we, then we go into some opioid or the other because our presence in the feet is not needed. <laughs> we do not need to be paying attention to the feet. So we go into some other opioid, you see. You know, we go into the opioid where our presence is needed, you know, blessing y en ese momento Dada dice que su upio se va a algún otro lado donde se necesite porque no, no necesita estar pendiente de sus pies. Yeah, we don't need to pay attention to, we are, we are not needed in this foot part. That will handle, will be handled by Niruma, you know. Uh, you know, I, I go into my upio. You say, I go into my opioid. You say, hmm? can, no necesito yeah. prestar atención a qué pasa con mis pies. Eso lo manejará Niruma. Yo estoy en mi opioid. So what opioid is that? You say, what opioid is that? And it is the opioid <clears throat> of the Gnani. Blessing with his eyes everybody who is present there. Those who touch the feet and even those who don't, you see, everyone. That, and the blessing of the Gnani is the highest blessing, Shuddha Upyog, you see, Shuddha Upyog. It's, it's just... ¿Y, ¿Y dónde está el Upyog de Dada en ese momento? Está bendiciendo a todos los presentes en ese lugar con su mirada. Y ese es el eh, Shuddha Upyog, es el más alto Upyog. Okay. Why, why is it should be okay? This is a living human being in whom the Lord has manifest, you see. The Lord, God has manifest, you see, full and in full form, in full form, you see, uh, full state. Uh, it hasn't happened ever before for these human beings, you see. Mm -hmm. And therefore... ¿Cuál, cuál es, mm -hmm. ese upiog, es el upiog de aquel en el cual el Señor se ha manifestado en su más 100%, en su más alta, alta forma? Y que By... nunca antes se había manifestado eh, así en un ser humano, en estos seres humanos. By touching. Human beings are used to what they have. You see, uh, there are five senses by touching. By touching, they feel there is a connection, you see. And that touch is converted to the highest touch of uh, touching the absolute self now manifest within this Gnani Purush whose feet are being Uh, washed, you see. His feet are being washed. Y esa conexión que se establece a través del tacto es lo que te da el paso hacia el, hacia el despertar de, del alma pura. There is, uh, in the Bible too, there is, a, there is this uh, uh, story, a story, story and an image of a lady, you know, a, a lady washing the feet of the Lord, you know, with her Hair, you know, with her 
fresh hair and, you know, just kind of applying oil on his feet, you see. How, oh, you know, you know, this is so special. This thing, this kind of connection is so special, you see. Oh, en la Biblia también está mm, esa imagen de esta yeah. señora lavándole los pies a, al Señor con sus cabellos y, y de aceites. This the human being's work is done. You know, he, he the human being is in the Ubiog of I am doing this. Or it is happening, whatever it is, the enlightened one is connecting that human being at a very, very special place. It's a direct connection to the soul of the other human being, you see. It is not the, it's not the physical part, you see. Hmm? Es una conexión muy, muy sutil del iluminado con aquel el ser humano que toca. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it does. And when we see the video of this, it is the same because deepest you are connecting directly you know you are you're also joining in in this process of of washing the feet of the gnani you see washing the feet of the gnani niruma used to allow it we have done it you know we have done it many times um and deepak bhai refuses he doesn't he doesn't say it. No, 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 no washing business. Maybe at the most, maybe you touch it, that's all. You know? So this is how it is. Y, y si ves por video esta imagen, también vos te unís a, ese, a esta unión con el Nani. Eh, Niruma, con Niruma también lo hicieron. A, a Dipak no le gusta esa ceremonia de, de lavado de los pies. Dice, bueno, a los como este, que toquen el dedo pulgar con el entrecejo. Y ahí, está, ahí paramos. <ríe> de... The imprints, the imprints of that image, uh, the imprint of that image is no longer a physical thing. It gets imprinted on your own Amapura, you see, that now you have, for you, this is the most precious thing. The presence of the Gnani, the awakened within you, is the most precious Uh, thing, you say, you know, and... y la impresión de esta imagen queda, queda en tu alma pura para nosotros eh, eh, la impresión del nani el haberlo, el haberlo tocado eh, queda en nuestra impreso en nuestra alma pura and because I cannot experience that soul in that fullness in that exactness in me until that happens, I continue to revere and worship the Gnani Purush, you see, and his words. <clears throat> and, until what, should have you said? Until, until I become that, until that ah. my, until yeah. I experience my own Ama as... Y, y, hasta, y hasta que yo experimente mi propia Alma Pura, me mantendré alabando a, a Dharabhavan. Yeah, you see, so this is the pure exact science. Some of this is Discussed in this new latest Dadavani of uh, November, you know, which uh, is available to all of you. Hmm? So should that, Bhagavan, so wonderful. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Algunas de estas cosas también están desarrolladas en el Dadavani de noviembre, así que si, si quieren, este, pueden leerlo. Should that, oh. Bhagavan. Should that, Bhagavan. Thank you, Marcela and dear Damian and all of you. Just Jay Sachidana. Alejandra, Rosie, Graham, Angelique, Yaya, Kimochi, Kimochi. Ah, yes. Gracias, Yes, yes, yes. Jay Sachidana. Muchas gracias. Yes, Gracias. Gracias, Gracias, Yuko Gracias. and everyone, huh, Damien? Yes, yes. Namaskar. Jai Sachitanan. Jai Sachitanan. Gracias, Damien. Jai Sachitanan. Gracias. Gracias.